The Albuquerque man suspected of spraying kids in the face with a squirt gun filled with semen may have been terrorizing kids for years. Kevin Jaramillo is now behind bars for raping a young girl in an arroyo two years before the squirt gun incident. Let's get to News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt in the Newsplex. Dean, one of the victims from the squirt gun incident told us how convinced she was by Jaramillo that he was making a video for charity. Today we learned he may have used a similar tactic to molest a child. 35-year-old Kevin Jaramillo is back in jail, accused of molesting a young girl in the Northeast Heights. It's pretty disappointing. Like, I didn't think it was going to escalate to that, but... But police say it did, two years before he was accused of spraying kids as young as six in the face with a squirt gun filled with semen and recording them on camera. These charges that we have today are, are really, really troubling. After the squirt gun incidents, police searched Tatamio's home and computer. The FBI found child porn, including images of a young girl riding her bike near a local arroyo. When police identified and interviewed her, she told them Jaramillo approached her at a park, took her under a bridge where he undressed her and took photos of her half naked. The young girl says he claimed he was doing a school project. Then she says he molested her. It's a similar story an 18-year-old girl says she fell for when she allowed Jaramillo to squirt her in the face with what she later learned was semen. The victim doesn't want to be identified. It's just like so stupid when I think about what he was saying now, but like he just like made it, I don't know, he made it sound really legitimate. But there's still questions whether Jaramillo has other victims in Albuquerque. I think the detectives are going to continue to work every possible angle. I know there was downloaded files from other sources. Jaramillo had to pay 20 grand to get out of jail for the squirt gun incident three months ago. But today, a judge kept his bond high, $250,000 cash only. This is like the kind of stuff that you see in movies and you just wouldn't think would happen in real life. But the fact that it does, it's just like... I really don't know what to think about it. It's really disappointing. His alleged victim hopes he stays in jail. Police say it's unclear at this point whether Jaramillo was posting any of the videos or pictures he took of his alleged victims online. Back to you. Gabby, thank you. Investigators say the young girl Jaramillo molested years ago was able to identify him from his picture released during the squirt gun incident.